Okay, what's up everybody? How's it going? It's Berk, aka Dansway here, and welcome back to this commentary playthrough of Silent Hill 2, the remake. I hope you guys enjoyed the first Halloween special two hour long premiere episode. I am ready to get back into the game and continue to make progress. Uh, had a good time with the game so far. Definitely, as I say, been enjoying the atmosphere and at least making a start on things. It has been quite a slow start, um, partly because of me as well. I've just been really trying to take things at a slow and methodical pace and just try and really immerse myself and get into the environment and the game. And I'm assuming that from here on, things are going to start to get more and more uh, dangerous and interesting and potentially very scary. So I hope you guys have stayed with me so far and uh, we're going to have an enjoyable but probably also pretty frightening uh, next session and well upcoming sessions so let's get straight into it and continue from where we left off so the last thing i did was to sort out this uh, jukebox thing and we ended up getting a key as a result so that's what we're going to start the session with and uh hope for the best so let's go neely's bar key that just wanted to see if there's anything here okay. straight up we go nice we'll take that we'll take that so up to a healthy uh, six drinks there that's pretty nice definitely one thing I'm curious about in this session is how the combat's gonna potentially uh, ramp up and how we're going to do in terms of like the game's difficulty. I still think it's too early days to, to make a judgment, but I think over the next like three to four hours, I think we'll get a better idea of how light combat is going. And uh, we'll see. I mean, if it turns out to be the case that surprisingly I'm finding it like easier, uh, despite a lot of what I've read of people saying like even the like the standard combat difficulty is kind of too difficult for a lot of people to like fully enjoy the game. Um, and there's been a lot of people that have turned down the difficulty from standard to light. Uh, who knows, maybe I'll go the opposite way, uh, at least for the time being. But we'll see. We'll just take it as it comes. Number one priority is to enjoy the game as much as possible. All right. He came back after you left. It's fine. He didn't try anything. He just seemed sad. Mumbled something about getting out of town with someone. I wasn't going to let him drive in his condition, so I locked him out. His car should be out back. Maybe check if it's still there by morning. It's the greenish-blue one. Plate number ending with 06, I think. I'll give you the old flipper -oo. Nothing yet. I just love that marking of the map. It's just so, like, it's so simple, but it's just so great. Okay, there's the car. So far, at least, I think the keypad is one of the few things we still have outstanding that we've kind of come across, but we don't have a we don't have a code for yet. So we'll see how that goes. What is this? Certificate of authentication. This acknowledges that Albert Smith something. Okay. Let's get back out there. Into the fog. I do feel like this game is one of those quintessential games that really proves that art direction often trumps visual fidelity. Like I can tell even in the original, it doesn't matter how old the game is. Like There's just something iconic about this game's look, and I'm pretty sure they've done their best to retain that type of atmosphere and energy uh, in the remake, and I'm sure that's part of why it's still reviewed so well. There's just something about it. Ah, there's another one. Let's go... We have picked up two in relatively short uh, time here. Does that mean we're heading towards something more interesting? Also curious about the first, basically, boss fight. I know, obviously, from the whole Pyramid Head thing that, obviously, we're going to be fighting Pyramid Head at some point. 
But there must be other bosses to fight in the game too. So we'll see. Yeah, that looks like something like a place that one of those guys could crawl out of. I think this uh, paranoid style of, of gameplay is probably serving me well at this point. Just trying to be super vigil vigilant and just pay attention to as many things as I can. And I think the static mechanic is also genius. Really, really good. Oh boy. Yeah, okay, hold on. I see it. It's this little shit. I still feel like there's going to be one time where you're going to sort of go after this guy and then from behind or like from some other place you're going to get rushed. But for now, we're still good. Don't know if I've set my... Oh, another one. That time there was barely any static. Yeah, I don't know if I've set my volume a little too high here. Yeah, the gap between, like, the normal ambient sound of the game and when I smash, thi smash things is very high, so... Let's make it a bit too much noise. Okay. <sighs> crossroads always scare me, because that's where they tend to be, just, like, stumbling around crossroads. going to have to be in there. Uh, I think we haven't done this way either. No, we have. Or maybe No, we haven't actually. Because the window's already smashed. I'm just so used to having to do it myself. Okay. But yeah, we've gotten a lot of health drinks. There's something coming up. There's no way there isn't. So... Buckle up, my friends. Shit's about to go down. Still a bit annoyed that I used that syringe by accident. Like, they're clearly very important resources. But, oh well. At least the health drinks are, are in healthy supply. Okay. There's the 06. Now, before I even go to that, I have a feeling that that's going to be a bit of a trigger point for something to happen. So I want to have a little look around first and maybe clear out anything that pops before that. No static. Okay. Nope, they just want you to go for it. Ah, okay. Smash it up first. Let's trigger off whatever's going on here. And I have a feeling that this is where things are going to get a bit crazy. Let's go. Like three health drinks in like three minutes with no enemies around. Like, come on. I've played video games before. Well, at least three of them. Yeah. No. No, we ain't about that. Die. Alright, stay on the move. Trying to keep dodging. Right, go. Did I get him? I think I got him. The music's too loud, though. Alright, I have to put it down a little more. It's supposed to be loud here, but I, I can't hear myself think. It's very distracting. Alright. He's put the bat away, but I don't assume the danger's over quite yet. 
That's why they gave you the health. Oh boy. Where do we go from here? I want to kind of go back to Neely's now. Like throw in a save or something. We do have the Rosewater Park thing. I think we just have to go down Cat Street and start heading towards there. But I'm sure. Uh, actually, hold on. I'm going to take refuge in here for a second. Whew. Just calm things down. Quick look here. Uh, okay. Woodside Apartments. That's what we needed. Very well. And Woodside Apartments is... Yeah, it's down Cat Street. So we get out, we book a left, and... Maybe this time I kind of just sprint through. I'm surprised I got through unscathed against uh, those three. It was just a lot of like dodging around like this to try my best to not get hit. Uh, it's a bit clunky, but it, was, it worked. All right, let's go. Oh, right. I'm gonna see if I can ignore this one. Keep going. Oh no! They knew I was gonna do that. They so knew I was gonna do that. Holy shit! Yeah, it's coming after me. Thankfully, those crawling ones aren't so bad. Oh my god. It's getting crazy. Can I get in here? Good god. Yeah, with all the sound as well, they're making it very difficult to kind of... They're making it very difficult to hear what's going on as well. So I think I'm going to take refuge for a second again. Oh my god. Now, I think... Could you get in here? No. Shit, man. <laughs> Alright. We need to go out and then turn right. I think. Just double check. Oh no, go straight ahead. Alright, let's go. Still gonna try and sprint through. Let's go! Don't look back. Just run. I think things will calm down again. We'll probably get to leave this bit at some point. Oh my god. Shit, man. I don't think they chase you down that far, so I think I'm safe now. In terms of this small pocket. But I have a feeling they've got some health somewhere. Yeah, I was going to say. I think I'm going to chug this one. Alright. I could just go into the Woodside Apartments, but I'm going to quickly just look around a little more. This is maybe foolish. There's more static. I think there's just too much shit going around. Where did you come from? What the fuck? They're just spawning them from nowhere, man. That's bullshit. Nah, this is insane. I need to get out of here. Let's pick this up. We keep this, right? Yeah, we do. Okay, let me get in. I assume we can get back out once we're in. Yeah, Auto save kicked in there. That's a dangerous section. So we're talking about gameplay there. I think ultimately I took like one hit, considering how many of them I killed during that stretch, that wasn't too bad. Alright, we gotta leave. Meet me there.
Uh, okay. Right, I can't pull out a map now. So I guess this is like its own. Does that mean we can't go back out? This is... I'm not sure if that means there's a point of no return. Uh, not sure if we ever regain access to that. Hmm. Yeah, if I miss something there, then it is what it is. Those are the kind of things, again, I'm not going to reload a save just to, just to reinvestigate that stuff. Okay. So it seems like we have a pretty big interior section here. All right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Whoa. That is huge. Okay, we're going to be spending some time here. So we've gone for a bit of an environment change. But we have a save, thankfully. Okay, time to regroup for a second. Okay. So, is that... Don't know if I should raise the gamma level slightly again. Oh, more handgun ammo. Surely in this area now we're going to get the handgun. And we got this guy. This is our next puzzle, I guess. This is kind of like the jukebox equivalent. Yeah, okay. Cool. Three bright coins in the five holes B. First sits the maiden underneath the tree. The wind from behind the maiden doth blow. A beautiful flower alone has to grow. And here comes the man, so sleek and so fine. In the pale moonlight his eyes doth shine. So we're searching for three coins at this stage. Alright, that's going to take a while. So this is going to be quite a, quite a big chapter, I think. I don't know if it's going to be like an hour, two hours... But overall, I think we're still very early in the game. It's barely been two hours, so I think we've still got a lot to do here. We're barely, I think, like 10-15% of the way into the game. Right. So. Uh, just wondering again, in terms of the gamma settings, are we in the right place? I think so. So I'm going to, again, try to be relatively methodical. Basically, try every door, try every room. Um, just run into them. And thankfully, he's marking individual rooms here, which is very helpful for me. At least I'll, I'll be able to have a quick glance and know. Start here. At least we have an open door. Very inviting uh, toilet here. And some static. Love that. We love a bit of that. More handgun ammo. What I'm generally curious about so far is that we basically haven't seen, like, human, human regular corpses. Like, the only things we've basically seen since we've entered the town are those, like, you know... They are, I guess, they were once human. They kind of look humanoid, obviously. But... Other than those guys, I don't think we've really seen anything. So I'm curious if we're going to, like, what other NPCs are we going to meet? And are we going to start, like, what's happened to all the humans? Did every single human here get turned into those things? Did they all get evacuated? Did they all literally just get, like, eaten with no trace of them remaining? Like, what the hell happened? Proper ghost town, in that sense. Like, only monsters here so far. Even the girl, she was basically at the graveyard. Yeah, this corridor looks really sketch. But cool lighting. So I guess we start here. More health, we'll take that. Yeah, doing good so far, almost a double digit heals here. And we have something. Okay, here we go. Let's have a look. Dear Madam. In response to your complaints regarding the gunshots coming from apartment 217, 
We have paid a visit to the tenant and he assured us that he does not own any firearms. He was fully cooperative and granted us access to the apartment. True to his words, we did not find any weapons or traces of using one. Should the noises persist, please inform the janitor. Well, I think guess where we're going to find the gun. We need to head to room 217. Um, let me... I always got to remember to flip. So, before we try upstairs, let's just try this one. No. I think that means we can't even go anywhere on this first floor yet. Fine. Pretty sure this is obviously locked. I didn't literally push it, but... Yeah. Okay. Hello? Is anyone there? Oh man. Yeah, the one good thing about the streets was that they were pretty wide, so at least when you did see an enemy, you had quite a lot of room to run around and kind of try to dodge their like vomit attacks and shit like that. But in here, it's like if you get one or two of them popping up in these enclosed spaces, like you are in trouble. So the claustrophobia here is gonna be a factor. And lots of dark scary corridors <sighs> keep trying there's got to be one of these has got to got to open at least that one's already open I guess. very inviting once again but I do think this place is rife for more jump scares I think we're definitely going to get a bit more of that so the horror is going to ratchet up a notch here. Okay, we've got some Slytherins there, as I call them. I have no idea what the names of these monsters are. And a pram, an ominous looking pram in the middle of a swimming pool. Get your weapon out, bro. Come on. Who would enter a situation like this without their weapon drawn? Oh my god. That's creepier than the monsters. Uh, I'm pretty sure these aren't literally enemies. But there are... I remember from that Silent Hill magazine, like certain images you never forget. There's those enemies in this game that kind of look like them. Oh, man. Just in case, I'm going to smack one. Yeah, there's no, like, animation there. Shit, man. Ghost looking flipping thing there. Mannequin covered in cloth. Do not put your weapon away. You fool. Someone's going to pop out here. You're going to wish you had your weapon drawn. More health. We'll take that. Double digits. I'm just going to run in and smack this. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. No preemptive strike. So they're waiting for you to interact with this. And then shit's about to go down. Yeah. They're not going to let you kind of preemptively <laughs> deal with whatever dangers are about to come here. Oh, man. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Whoa. Yeah, just... I think I got away with it that time. I got away with it, but I just instinctively just just smashed attack as quickly as possible. Shoot. But yeah, I think... Ugh. Yeah, they look like mannequins, kind of. But they have, like, two lower halves stuck together, like four legs. Ugh. These clothes... I mean, maybe once this was just all a very innocent operation, but I don't know. It seems incredibly creepy now. I mean, especially I think when you see these ones, clearly, like, it's very kind of 
like put together, you know what I mean? Like it's clearly some crazy butcher. Maybe scientists gone wrong, whatever the hell it is, is is doing this, like putting these monstrous entities together. Well, something that's probably once human. Very not human now. Okay. So a target. I mean we have a key for the shoot. I'm not sure that's I know exactly what that means, but there must be some kind of laundry shoot or something, but do I want? That's not gonna work. Oh okay, it says courtyard key, fine. Okay, so I think we head back down. But we have had a new enemy type be introduced, so we're gonna see how we get along with that one. I have a feeling it's going to be a little different to what we've been facing so far. Obviously, it shouldn't be able to do the vomit attack, but it probably has something else in its place. Which I'm sure we're not going to like. So this is, again, it's not going to be that. Alright. I guess one good thing here is that since you have uh, this little save spot here, you can regularly run back and save. So that you don't lose progress. <coughs> so I will be taking advantage of that. And just having little breaks. Damn man. It's already been half an hour. Like The game's generally slow paced. But I think you spend so much time like on edge and focused. That time passes more quickly than you think. Kind of interesting. It's intense. Alright, so this is what we have the key for, I assume. Alright. Okay. Uh, my cat found an incredibly great time to be really distracting and annoying. I feel like she just knows sometimes. Trying to stay alive here. Okay. We've got this thing. So I have a quick look around. At least I've got quite a big space here. Some things pop out through the windows. I can sprint around a little. So. Not much to do for now, I'm just going to move things along. The white cloth prompts. <coughs> Alright. Yeah, static has begun. Trouble is, you don't know if you're dealing with those giant bug things or you're dealing with something more sinister. Whatever it is, I'm try and be ready. As should you. I feel like if I'm here in static, I want to clear out a room first before I start actually properly exploring shit. That toilet is clear. I guess they're moving around because the static is quieting down here. I just don't know how reliable the static is. I don't know. Sometimes they use it to just mess with your mind. Like you hear it, but there's actually nothing in the vicinity. Or the opposite, you don't hear anything, but there is something there. I really don't know. Yeah. See, now that I've... Let's say... Either it's on a different floor, 
is actually walking around above me. Yeah, okay. I'm going to give this a read. Against my better judgment. <laughs> 